Last rule. Now the nine tables. First, there's a quick way to check your answers for the nine tables. If you add digits of multiples of nine, the sum always adds up to nine. See the example on the right. This is how you can check your answer. If you think you have an answer for something times nine and the digits don't add up to nine, then it's wrong. Next, we will learn two methods that give us the right answer for nine tables. There are two methods we will show you, the subtraction method and the finger hand method. You can pick whichever one you are most comfortable with, they both work. The first method of learning nine tables, the subtraction rule. This works for nine multiplied by any number between two and nine. Whatever you multiply by nine, subtract one from that number and figure out how much more you need to get to nine. Then put both numbers together to get your answer like this. In this example, we're trying to figure out what nine times seven equals. If we subtract one from seven, we get six and we need to figure out what to add to the six to equal nine. In this case, it's three. So nine times seven equals 63. The finger hand method. Hold up both hands and look at your fingers from left to right as one to 10. If you want to know what nine times any number is, just bend the finger down that matches the number you are multiplying and the rest of your fingers show you the answer. For nine times four, you would put down the fourth finger. You have three fingers up on the left and six fingers up on the right. Answer equals 36. One more example, nine times eight. Put down the eighth finger. You have seven fingers up on the left and two fingers up on the right. Answer equals 72. What about nine times 10, 11, or 12? You already learned the easier 10 rule, just add a zero. You already learned the 11 rule, 11 acts like a mirror. You already learned nine times 12 from the cartoon.